Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, I want to talk about the harsh criticism Bungie has received. I just read an article by Paul Tassi titled, I'm worried about Destiny 2, but I'm more worried about Bungie. I will put the link in the description below. I agree with some of what he said, and at the same time, it kind of pisses me off further. Not, not at him, but at the sentiment in general. Here's the thing. Bungie has made a ton of promises to the community, and they failed on delivering most of them. It seems like every single week, there's something else they screwed up, and I'm tired of it. I saw all of this from the beta release back in July. I had hoped that I was wrong, and I was about a couple of things, but they were minor things, like I didn't like failsafe in the beta. I thought, if there's no backstory explaining why this character is so annoying, I probably will stop playing the game. Well, there was a backstory, and I thought it was touching and well done. But on the other hand, I knew that 4v4 Crucible was going to suck, and it did. It's at best now tolerable. And it was a little better when they brought back Mayhem, but even that was nearly ruined by the Warlock glitch that allowed every Warlock to have an unlimited super. Here's the thing. I understand that some of Bungie works very hard. They probably all do. But it's really hard not to call them lazy when Destiny 2 is what it is because they felt making quests was too hard so instead, they put all that great content behind a paywall. How am I not supposed to call that lazy? That's pretty much the definition of the word. Their game was in shambles, but they couldn't be bothered to work on it because of the winter holiday. Look, I'm glad they got to spend time with their families. I'm not completely heartless here, but the game has a lot of things wrong with it that needs immediate attention, not later, but now. They planned to release the Dawning and take a vacation. That probably would have been okay. I'm sure it was much needed, but the Dawning was mostly a sham. It was all content, again, hidden behind a paywall. And to top it all off, the one big thing in the Dawning, the Return of Mayhem, and it's broken. And they still just left it there to rot. We were the ones stuck with it. But as I've said before, I didn't want them working through their winter break. I wanted them. I wanted them to want to work through it. I wanted them to care enough about the game to start fixing it. But no, leaving us with a broke with a broke game and content hidden behind a paywall was their true gift to the community. I found it offensive. When I make mistakes, I do whatever I can to fix them. I have missed vacations and family time because I choose to run a business. That business has paying customers who deserve to get what they were promised. And I'm supposed to feel sorry for how hard it is to be a developer at Bungie? It's hard to feel sorry for a company that keeps making the same mistakes. Some of these mistakes are horrible. The excuses mean very little. The inner workings of, of what deals they made with whoever is not my concern. What I care about are the promises they made to this community. The saddest part of all of this is that so many of their problems could be solved with just an update or two, but it appears that no one there has any idea what they're doing. I mentioned in a video the other day, rather harshly, about some of the dumb things they're doing. But I also suggested some solutions. I'll repeat how easy it would be for them to get back on track now. First, depending on how many weapons and armor pieces they have that haven't been released yet, I'm guessing it's not really a lot. They need to start releasing them now. At least two or three a month or more. Second, take several of those exotics that I'm sure they've been saving up for later release and make them part of the new and make them make them in, add them into the game as new quests. Add one of those icons to our inventories like they did with the Rat King or any one of the other quests. It can drop randomly or after completing some series of events that we need to figure out. Give it maybe two or three parts depending upon the type of exotic it is. And make players work for them. Say they're going to bring back the Nothing Manacles for the Warlock. Then make part one of the quests something like get 150 kills with scatter grenades. 
Step two, complete 10 heroic strikes with 100 kills or more. Third, win 10 crucible matches. Now do this for several of the dozen or so exotics they haven't handed out yet. This works for ships, sparrows, weapons. This keeps us going. This gives us new content, something to grind for. Now, while we're busy grinding and trying how to figure out how to make these quests drop, Bungie can take its time to get to work on the updates they want to do. I understand this may screw up the plan to add this gear later. Well, it's going to take a while for us to get through these quests. Have a team start working on new gear. We, need, we, we don't need a lot. Four or five exotics with each expansion. That can't be too hard. And a, and a few legendary items that can be sprinkled here and there each expansion and season isn't too much to ask. Nightfall, I've said it before, I'll say it again. They're making solving this issue too complicated. It's not that difficult. Here's how it can be solved. Normal mode, 30 minutes. Prestige, 15. Add back the scoring, that's fine, I'll support that. These time modes make some people happy. Scoring makes other people happy. Problem solved. Crucible, bring back 6v6 as proposed. Allow for more game mode choices. Rotate them if you want, like was done in Destiny. Once that is done, we can live with it for a while until the other changes mentioned in the developer update can be done. I got nothing for the raids. I don't do them. This isn't my area of expertise. Talk to raiders. See what they want, and then do the most suggested stuff. Again, problem solved. Most of this stuff can be done within a week or two. But Bungie is killing itself trying to do too much at a time, and it's killing the community because mistakes and dumb decisions keep being made. That's what happens when a whole company goes into panic mode. The smartest people on earth can make moronic mistakes when rushed. Now right now there's just one moronic mistake after another. Bungie needs to take a deep breath and get serious about this. Push back the next expansion if need be. Do it right or don't do it at all. Because I'm sorry, I paid a lot of money for this game. And when I see the devs or Bungie or whoever the hell is in charge of making amateur mistakes repeatedly, it frustrates me. And I'm obviously not alone here. Bungie doesn't need us to feel sorry for them. They don't need us to worry about them. They need to worry about us. Look at the, the biggest Destiny YouTubers. And almost all of them are drifting away. Some already have. Of the ones that remain, many are slipping other games into their channel. And I don't blame them. This is their livelihood. Bungie isn't instilling a lot of faith in the ability to fix this mess when they are constantly screwing things up. After the last major dev update, I said I was cautiously optimistic. Then the first chance they get to show us something, they screw it up. I know these are smart people, but since Destiny 2's arrival, it's been one thing after another. The quality control is at an all-time low. Mistakes that should be caught are making their way into the game. From emotes that break walls to super glitches to XP throttling and on and on and on. The problems are not too great for them to overcome. But they have got to get it together. The community is leaving. The best way to get them back is to give them something to do. Now. While we, the community, are playing with the new shiny thing, the exotic quest, uh, quests I mentioned, Bungie can get to work on the real fixes. This isn't rocket science. Anyone who's taken a Business 101 class should be able to figure this out. So no, when Bungie does something mor moronic, I'm going to call them on it. When they do something great, I will also call them on it. But it's real hard to do so when every good thing they do is overpowered by something stupid. Seriously, a 10 minute cooldown on looting lost sectors? That's moronic. There are some really cool features on the way for Destiny 2. And they did some good things for this, for this faction rally. But all that wonderful goodness keeps getting overshadowed by idiot decision making on the dumbest levels of things. Imagine how happy the community would be if they had released a couple of new items with this faction rally and didn't limit our lost sector looting. We would all be happily playing right now. Sure, some are going to complain no matter what, but most of us would be content with something new. The major changes implemented in the last week's update were all good, but it was those couple of smaller things that hadn't be been mentioned that then became the focus of this event. That's just bad business. So much to say here. 
I guess what I'm trying to say in conclusion is that yes, I'm guilty of being mean and saying harsh things. I'm very passionate about this game. I care about this game. I have the hours playing to show it. But Bungie's worst enemy isn't me or my harsh criticism. It isn't the negativity of the community either. No, their biggest enemy is themselves. And that's it for this rant. And remember, if you like this video, maybe hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I seriously need subscribers like Bungie needs a game plan. I need subscribers like Cade6 needs his chicken. And if we could get 2,487 likes on this video, that'd be great. Thanks for watching.